Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. You know, St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day they call it, is Sunday. And uh, while I wanted to do something special for the show here, I'm not going to wear the beer glasses or wear the crazy hat that I planned. Instead, I thought I'd bring you something useful. So I found this to review. This is the Rabbit TV, and it's a little USB device that you plug into your computer and it promises to bring us the 5,000 free TV channels and this is the device here it's just a little USB device and it plugs in the computer so you know I've been surprised with these kind of devices before I don't expect much from this but you never know if you've watched my magic jack video and I'll put a link up here you know that uh, I like it so maybe this too so if I can save 50 bucks on my basic cable you bet I'm gonna do it okay coming up on this edition uh, free TV okay I'm sitting down at my computer now to the machine that I want to put the rabbit TV on this little device here I've got my USB plug right over here so I'm just gonna plug this in here goes in just like that okay so I plugged my device into the USB port as you can see and the first thing that I'm presented with is this screen that says start so I'm gonna press that now when you first install this program you might have to install several different programs to make it work one of them is called net framework so if it asks you for it don't be surprised as well as uh, windows media player if you don't have a recent copy of that on your machine you might also have to download that as well as a, a recent and new flash player so just be aware that just because my machine is up to date and it didn't ask me for those things if you haven't used those in a while you might have to update okay so the first thing that's presented to me is this login screen now I've already logged in but if you haven't you'll have to sign up for the service it just takes a minute there's a short form and you have to answer a few questions but there's no money exchange the ten dollars that you paid for this device also get you your first year of service so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my username now so this is rabbit TV's homepage and you can see by looking at the outline of the page it looks similar to crackle or Hulu so um, as I'm looking down through here it's divided into TV networks and pay-per-views and popular classics and there's these tabs along the top for the TV shows and the classics, the networks, everything you'd expect to a good TV player to have. And then there's a movie tab here. You can look down through there. It's popular down to seasonal and sci-fi and that sort of thing. And then under the live, there's a spot for sporting events and featured events coming up, different channels, as well as a premium channel. And there's a dollar sign by it, so I'm assuming that that one is extra. And there's also a tab for radio as well as well as music videos. So if you're into watching music like MTV style, this, this might be for you. What I'm really looking forward to is just everyday TV. So that's why I was in here. I realize that you can get most of, not all, this content on the internet without spending $10 for this device. Um, I think what it does though is just puts it in one convenient place to find, find things. So I'm going to test that theory and I'm going to search. I'm going to search for something I like to watch. I like to watch a show called American Pickers. So I'm just going to put in Pickers and see what I get. So that was pretty fast. Here it is here. Just click on there. And it tells me a little bit about it and there's some comments here I see and I can just click on this button right here to watch it and see how that works so there it is there's American Pickers and this is actually the latest one that they had on TV because I caught that uh, 
I actually watch that, and this was the one. So that's really good. Let's try. Uh, let's uh, try it again. Let's go back. Now, you guys are probably going to want to watch American Idol on this thing, and I know for a fact that uh, this will not pick up American Idol, the latest greatest. You can't watch American Idol live on this at all. Um, and I know a lot of people wanted to, and I was reading comments on the forum, and that was one of the biggest complaints. So you might want to take that into account before you purchase that. But there's still plenty of good content to check out. Another show I like is the Storage Wars episodes. Let's, let's uh, type in storage. So the Storage Wars came up first here. This is the one I usually watch. There's also the Storage Hunters. Here's the Texas version. New York auction hunters bag baggage battles so there's quite a few shows here um, let me see what storage wars is let's click on the watch now there's a full screen version here too I'll click that once it gets going here ones that I like I don't expect this to have every channel on it that exists on TV um, especially like the live American Idol and Maybe Glee. I'm not really sure. Let's try Glee. So there are Glee episodes on here. I don't know if they're the the latest greatest episodes, but there are definitely um, there's some content of Glee on here, including like the People Choice Awards for that particular. Let's type in American Idol and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see there are there is some American Idol content here, but it's older stuff or it's extras. It might be commercials from their Ford commercials that they do, um, you know, specials. I don't um, maybe select shows but the latest greatest contents not going to be on here right away so um, don't look for that okay guys um, you know my opinion of this is that I think I would spend the 10 bucks in fact I have so I have it for a free year um, maybe I'll review this again at the end of the year and let you know how much I've used it and if it's been any use to me at all I certainly wouldn't go out and replace your cable bill or cancel your bill in any way. This is just a supplemental. This might be good on a trip in a hotel room with your laptop, something like that, to watch uh, you know, a movie, that sort of thing, without the hassle of having to search through all the different uh, you know, Hulus and all those ones. So, you know, I think there's some real value here uh, if you don't expect too much. There will be some things that you're used to watching that won't be there. So, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this St. Patty's Day special. I told you I wouldn't wear the hat, but hey, I wore it anyway. <laughs> so, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and uh, don't drink too much on Sunday. We'll see you soon. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.